You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright Hello my darlings How you all doing? Hope you're all okay Welcome back to another video Um. I'm starting a bit of a vlog because I've got so much to do throughout the weekend and the week. I thought I'd just film it. It'll probably be split up into a couple of um, videos. But I really need to finish sorting out my clothing situation. So in my bedroom at the moment, I've still got like all my winter jumpers and stuff piled up on the floor. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my boxes out of here that's got like all my spring and summer stuff in and my loungewear and everything, sort through it, um, put on vintage what I'm not going to wear or use anymore, um, put my jumpers into the boxes and get my spring and summer stuff hung up in the wardrobe. I've got washing to put away, I've got stuff that from my try-ons to put away stuff to go in my suitcases so yeah i've got quite a bit to do i've got washing to put away oh i just thought you know what make a start um so this is the reason why i look as rough as sandpaper <laughs> i've just you know had a wash through um a loungy jumper on and um, ready to get cracking so yeah just excuse the state of this but this is what i've got to tackle oh Oh, shit. <laughs> what I've got to tackle in here. I'm going to start with these tubs first. Um, because this is where the majority of my clothes and loungewear is. So like all my winter pyjamas and loungewear, I'm going to put away and bring out the you know more summer stuff like this kind of stuff is all winter isn't it in fact i think i've got a big a big bag down in my cupboard that i could put like my thick pajamas in and they can go up into the uh, garage loft out of the way until the winter oh so yeah i'm gonna make a start on on this today and see how far we get so these three are all clothes and loungewear and this one is um, bags and belts and stuff so we'll do that one in a bit because I think my my hat my um, straw hat is in one of these somewhere and also my beach bag so let's make a start on um so we're going to have a winter pile to go away a pile for vintage and a pile that i'm keeping or a pile for charity as well if it's now good for vintage these are some lounge bottoms there may be a top to that somewhere i think i'm going to put those on vintage they're from Pep and Co. I think I've only worn them once and I'm sure there might be a top to them. If not, I'll just put them on as, uh, you know, lounge bottoms, but we'll see. So I'll put my vintage pile over there. I'm going to pop this on vintage as well. This is just like a, a nice lounge jumper. It's got these turn ups on the bottom. This is from Primark size 14 to 16 i think i've only ever wore that once but i've got so many and i just need to scale it back a bit so that can go on vintage that's part of a set but that's a winter one so that can go it's another hoodie i think that's all the loungewear that's in there all right we're coming to a bit of summer stuff now so this stuff I want to keep out right I'm going to put that down for a second because I want to do all the loungewear first this one's loungewear oops 
as well. We've got this jumper here. This is from F and F. I'm going to pop that on Vinted as well. It's just like this really soft ribbed jumper with a V neck. That is a size 14. Again, I think I've only ever wore it once. So that can go on Vinted. I might do it as a little bundle. Another jumper. This is is this to them lounge bottoms? No. But I'm sure there's some bottoms to this as well. I thought there was. I don't know. I'm going to put this on Vinted as well. This beige jumper. It's got these puffy sleeves and like a stand-up neck. Uh, Pep and Co. Extra Large. So that can go on Vinted as well. Again, I think I've only worn it once. This is another set that's got the um, dressing gown, top and bottoms. But if I remember right, this was a little bit big on me. So I might put that on. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. 18 to 20. These. So there's like the Jarmas. The Jarma bottoms. And they was really big on me. So they're really nice. Uh, this from Primark, I've only wore it once. So you've got the bottoms, which are an 18 to 20. And then there's like this little wrap top that matches. What size is that? That's a 14 to 16. And then there's the dressing gown that goes over the top that matches as well. So it's a three piece. And that's a 18 to 20 as well. So, yeah, I'm going to pop that on, on Vinted because it's not one that I reach for and it is a little bit big. So, that can go on Vinted. So, that is that first one done. But I have got another load of loungewear and pyjamas um, from Clean Washing to put away. Um and they're jumpers, so they've got to go in a separate box. Right, so we've managed to whittle that down to one box and get rid of some stuff. So that's the first one done, loungewear. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and grab a bag for putting these uh, big bulky jumpers and stuff in. I think I've got a big one. Um, and... Get my uh, clean washing, loungewear and stuff. So we can sort through that as well. So I'll be right back. <sighs> Clousy now. <laughs> Gosh. Right. I've got a big, big massive bag here. So I can start. Is that inside out? Is there an inside and an outside to these bags? No, I don't think there is. Right, I can start putting my uh, winter winter PJs in this bag here. Right, that's that. I think there might be a couple of things down here on this side to go in there. I've got another bag or two bags up the garage loft full of winter pyjamas and jumpers and ponchos and all sorts of stuff. So when that season comes around, I will go up there and sort through all that as well and just get rid because it's been up the garage for over 12 months, so it's obvious I'm not going to use it. Uh, so, yeah, that, a load of that can go as well. This is my fluffy cape. <laughs> I love that in the winter. Bloody hell, that's nearly full. Uh, I'll come to that in a bit. Right. God, I'm getting overwhelmed already. But that's just clothes that need hanging up in the walking wardrobe and underwear. Right. Uh, where are we? That's the box that I've just done, isn't it? So, this is loungewear that needs to go away. So, 
and all this. This is stuff that I keep out to wear during even the spring and summer. I think I need to stop buying loungewear and pyjamas and all the rest of it. I really do need to stop. I can't help it. Right, that's all pyjamas and loungewear there that need to go in a box. That's jumpers that need to go away. So there's a load more of jumpers in my bedroom. Uh, this is clothes that need to be hung up in the walk-in wardrobe. So I'm just going to go and pop them on my bed. So I know that that's all for hanging up and putting away. Right, I'm going to start going through the spring and summer stuff now. Um, still got the tags on, look. I'm going to keep that. Nice little um, cami top. All this stuff can go in my walking wardrobe now. Um, this dress. Love that. So I'm going to keep that. Very nice summer dress if we go out anywhere nice. That can be hung up. I'm going to pop this top on Vinted. I have this from the charity shop. Um, it's a new look top. I paid £3.50 for it, so I should just pop it back on for what I paid for it. As you can see, it's not even been worn. It's a really nice dusky pink bardeau top. It is lovely and it's got that little bow de uh, knot detail and the flouncy sleeves. So that can go on vintage. This is a maxi skirts i like this in the summer it's got like a split down the sides is it on both sides yeah with a white vest so i'm keeping that that can be hung up this dress i'm gonna pop on vintage this little wrap dress because i don't think i'm gonna wear it Size 16, beautiful wrap dress that I had from Primark with the gorgeous little cap sleeves. Am I going to reach for that in the summer? Mm, no, I'm going to pop that on vintage so that can go. These dresses, I don't think I am ever going to wear. So I'm going to pop these on vintage, these 50s style dresses. Um, you know, they are absolutely beautiful quality and they did look nice when I tried them on, but I don't think they're going to be something that I reach for personally. So I'm going to pop this on vintage. It's a size extra large, which is a 16. I mean, it is beautiful. The quality is incredible. So I'm going to pop that. It's got a split at the back. If you like that kind of style, I will leave my vintage down below in the uh, description box this dress I do actually like this dress this leopard print one it's really nice in the spring and summer it's got a halter neck so I'm gonna keep that one this little skirt is really cute uh, am I gonna reach for this Guys, it'd be nice, nice with a black vest or a black top. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. This shirt, I'm going to pop on vintage. This pinstripe shirt, again, flouncy sleeves. It's got like a tie on the neck. Um, size 16. It's got the label cut out. I think I had this off everything, £5. It's got that frill detail down the front. It is really nice. So that can go on vintage. I'm going to keep that top, although there's a mark on the back and I've tried everything to get that out. I am going to try some elbow grease on it, see if that works. My son bought me that, so I'm going to keep that. Linen trousers, they're a definite keep. So they can come out, one, two. I think I've got a few pairs of linen trousers, a sage green pair, three. 
yeah, four pairs of linen trousers, so I'm definitely keeping those. Uh, a dress, another dress. This is an off the shoulder number. Uh, Boohoo, size 14. It is really nice. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to that for now because I might reach for that. Another vest in green. These are always handy, aren't they, with a pair of denim shorts or something. Uh, that little skirt, floral skirt, will I reach for that? Mm, no, that can go on vintage. We've got this dress here. This has got a little brown belt that goes round the middle of this. Um, it is really nice, but it's not something I'm going to reach for. It's Primark and it's a size 18. And it has got a little belt. When, when I come across it, it's probably in that box there. That can go on vintage as well. This little top. Uh, still got the labels on. I think I had this from the charity shop. Still got a quiz label on it. Um, am I going to reach for that? Maybe with linen trousers. Yeah, I'll hold on to that because that might look quite nice with a pair of linen trousers. Then we've got my sparkly dress. I'm definitely not getting rid of that. <laughs> I've got this little crop top with the lemons on, which is lovely for the spring and summer, so I'm going to hold on to that. I've got this polka dot dress with a, a faux wrap, size 14, F and F. Am I going to reach for that? No, that can go on vintage as well. And I've got this gorgeous skirt. I'm going to keep that because I remember feeling really nice in that. So I'm going to hold on to that for now. Then I've got this yellow, off, well, square neck or off the shoulder. I'm going to keep that. Wrap over skirt. I wear that. I wore that last year, so I'm going to keep that. Then there's this little dress. I'm going to keep that. I might take that on holiday with me, you know. That'd be quite nice over a black bikini. Keep that. And I've got this um, like corset style top. So I'm going to keep that. I loved this dress last year. I, I wore it so much. This was from um, Tesco's, I think. It's so comfortable and with some tan sandals, yeah, Tesco, it looks gorgeous. So I'm keeping that and another one of my favourite dresses that I wore so much last year. I'm keeping that. Right, so we have made some room so I can put these, these uh, jumpers on the bottom of here. So we have got two boxes of um, loungewear and pajamas, and I've, I've, well, you've seen that I've scaled it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me! Right, that is all the loungewear put away. Uh, actually, yeah, that's got to be hung up. Yeah, that's all the loungewear put away. So we've got two boxes of loungewear done. Now, this is another box of stuff here. This has got bags and stuff in. I'm just going to move this stuff that's got to be hung up onto my bed out of the way, just so I know where I'm at. Yeah, it looks like the jumpers are going to have to go in uh, black bags to go up the garage. But what I might do, well, I will, I'll, I'll bag them up and see if Les wants to get, because he has to get the a couple of motorbikes out before we can get the steps down. So if you don't feel like doing it today, I'll ask him if he wants to do it tomorrow. So we've got another box here. 
with all sorts of stuff in and bags I've got the shoes to match this that's another thing I have got a massive bag what shoes I could do with just a room for all my shoes and boots I tell ya um, but I've got the shoes to match that so I'm keeping that uh, that's like a little beach bag will I ever use that one uh, I don't think I will so I'm going to pop that beach bag onto Vinted because I've got this one I'm more likely to use that one I'm going to keep that out because um, I'm going to take that on holiday with me because it's ideal you know to walk along the beach pop your creams in and stuff and plus it'll match some of my outfits so that's coming on holiday with me and I've got this little bag, never used it, never used it at all. Uh, am I going to use it? It's brand new. Would anybody want to buy that? Little cream handbag. I'll pop it on Vinted. And I've got my straw bag, I absolutely love this, so that can... Um, can just stay out. This one I remember um, was a bit tight on me, so I'm going to pop that. This was a viral one on TikTok with a split up, so I'm going to pop that on Vinted as well. Never wore it, only on a try on. That can go on Vinted. Oh, this is one of my favourite dresses. I can't wait to wear this beautiful, beautiful embroidery broadery anglais dress i absolutely love this it has got a belt that goes with it somewhere but i thought this would look really nice this is the one that i was on about with these denim wedges a denim belt and a denim bag oh my god yes 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 love that dress keeping that then this is another one of my favourite dresses. I love this one. Again, this looks beautiful with um, uh, tan sandals. Absolutely love it. It's got like this tortoise shirt. I wore the hell out of this last year as well. Uh, tan sandals and a straw bag, straw hat. Beautiful. And I also wore the hell out of this one as well. This was my Primark one absolutely love that dress so definitely keeping that what's this one another little ditzy print dress with um, a split at the front i think i might put that one on on vintage it's size large i think i had that off the tiktok shop as well Beautiful little ditzy print with the pink flowers on and it's lemon. Because I've got plenty to be going at, I don't think I'm going to reach for that one. So that one can go. Oh, I've come across some more pyjamas, summer, summer pyjamas. This, again, I'm not going to reach for it. Absolutely amazing quality in that 50s style again. So I'm going to pop this on Vinted. With the sunflowers on it's absolutely beautiful and then there's this one as well i'm going to pop this on vintage because they're not anything that i am going to reach for that navy blue one that can go uh some disney pajamas they can go in the bin so these are just like little shorts and vests which i've got room for in my um my drawer in the walking wardrobe i think it's another set bloody hell how many pairs of pajamas does one person actually need these are as old as the hills so they can go in the bin what we got here little white vest i think that's part of a pajama set that is Right, so we've got down to a few more clothes now. Got this yellow top off the shoulder. I think I might pop that on Vinted. It's from uh, TU. 
and it's a size 16. Am I going to reach for that? No, I'm going to pop that on. I don't know. I might hang on to that because that would look nice with some denim shorts, wouldn't it? I'm going to hang on to that. Oh, look, white vest. <laughs> Finding on there. And then I've got a uh, Yankees, a Yale t shirt. I've got the joggers to match that, actually. Got the joggers to match those. So. Uh, this is like a little white shrug another white vest yeah then the white vests guys that's like a little um croppy one that i sleep in but it's really gone off colour so that can go in the bin i'll pick up some more when i get a um primark so this is a size large and it's like a little over cardigan that ties in a knot that can go on vintage now we've got this I, I wonder if this is going to fit me i doubt it's going to fit me now it's a 14 it was a bit tight before but i don't want to get rid of it because it's a cargo skirt and then you know they're really in fashion at the mini hang on let me just um Step over here and try it on. I ain't gonna try it on in front of the mirror because you'll see me bum. <laughs> well, I've got it on. It's a bit tight round the waist. But I've got it on. <laughs> so, I thought that'd look really nice with the Crocs and a white vest. Yeah, um, it's a bit tight round the waist, but I only need to lose a couple of pounds and that'll be okay. So I'm keeping that. Right, we are getting somewhere, I think. Uh, let's have a look what we've got in here. These, I haven't worn these for so long. Uh, I'm going to put them on vinted. They are some wide leg Adidas lounge bottoms and they are a size 12 so and they ruche up down the side there they are really nice really wide wide leg so i'm going to put them on vintage some dark gray joggers i think i'm going to put these on vintage these are from the tokyo laundry they're a size 14 so they can go on vinted as well and i've got this like cropped state of brooklyn sweatshirt this is a size i had this from everything five pounds you know when i first started my channel and i used to do everything five pounds hauls what size is this? Has it even got it on? Uh, it says Euro Extra Large, USA Extra Large. It hasn't got Turkey. Uh, Turkey. It says Made in Turkey. It hasn't got the UK on there, but I'd say that was an Extra Large. Um, yeah, that can go on vintage. God, I, I forgot I've got this. This is like what I've got on, like a lounge, like sweatshirt dress. Uh, another one in grey that I had from Poundland. So, Pep and Cow, so that can go in the box. I really need to remember to just come and look through these boxes, you know, when I'm looking for something to wear. So, that's freed up them shelves there. So, I may even be able to get um because i've washed all my trainers my white trainers so they may even go there because i've put all that in there so that's made use of that box right we're getting somewhere that's those three boxes sorted and there's a little bit of room in that one yeah i'll definitely be able to um oh shall i put them in there as well i may as well I'm like, I'll be able to, oops, be able to 
use that for my trainers and stuff down there. There we go. Right, whew. we are getting somewhere. I've got a pile of stuff for vintage again. Right, let's move on to um, this box here and then I can get the boxes back in and then there's a pile of stuff here from my try-ons so I'm going to and then we'll move into the room and I'm going to start putting a few bits and pieces in my suitcase out of this pile here from my try-on let's see what we've got in this one I think this is bags and belts and shoes oh cap that'll come in handy for holiday so I'll keep that out again bags bags and more bags Bags, bags, winter scarves. I think I did sort this out before, you know. It's a, a li I'm going to put this on vintage. It's this little, little bag. I might do a little handbag bundle, actually. I've never even used this. It's just a bit out of shape from where it's been in there. It's like a little fake looking Louis Vuitton looking Gucci looking thing. <laughs> so that can go on vintage. I might do a little bundle of bags. So these I'm I'm just I'm just not gonna use them. So you know what? They are going. They're going. This is a little Alba body bag in navy blue. There's this little clutch with some leopard print on. I think that's River Island, you know. Oh no, new look, new look that one is. Oh come on, there we go. And a little Alba body bag. So yeah, I might put a little handbag bundle on, that can go. There's a little coin purse, that can go. There's this one with the studs on and the tassel, that can go. I've got this little belt with a little bag on it. Never used it. That can go. Right, so I think um, then a few things can go back in there. My scarves and stuff. And a couple of bags that I'm going to keep. So I'll pop all my my scarves back in. Uh, bum bag. I'll hold on to that because it comes in handy if we're on the, the motorbike or anything. And I'm going to keep these two bags, which I haven't even ever used that one, but I have got some really nice green um, shoes now to match it. So I've used this one. So yeah, keeping that. Yeah, we've got a bit of room in there, so I'm going to pop these bags in because why do I keep them? I don't know, but I just do. <laughs> and that one can go in there as well. I keep this one because my, it's my Jam Alarm box that my son bought me uh, for Christmas. So that's why I'll keep that. That's the box to my Burberry bag. Uh, all my boxes of bags are up there, so that's something else. So, uh, I've got anything here that could go in there. Right, so, where's the lid? That can go back on the bottom. Right, I'm out of breath. Right, we are getting there. I have got a huge pile for vintage. Oh, 
I need to cover Nezzy's uh, suits back up. Right. Now, this side, that's Leslie's shirts and stuff. There's my straw hat, so I need to get into there. Uh, that's some bags. That's my Burberry bag. And there's my Burberry box. So I can pop that back in there. I need to get into that box there to, um, to get me out for holiday. Can you believe me? <laughs> It's all the way down there. So I've got to take all of these out. Oh, I've got two straw hats. I've got a black one, black floppy one, and that one. So I'll keep those out. Right, so I've just got to put it all back now because that's just all CDs down there. Some trousers of Leslie's. I think I might put this on Vinted as well because I don't think I'm going to use it anymore. This beautiful blue. Um, it's very much like a Hermes Kelly dupe. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pop that on Vinted. I have got a pile of stuff for Vinted, but I'm not going to tackle that until I come back off holiday because if stuff sells, I'm not going to be able to... Um, to post it so i'm going to wait till i come back off holiday to, to put the stuff on vintage so we have got another tidy wardrobe and some stuff put away right the bed's still full of stuff um but we're getting there i'm going to fold all the vintage stuff up and put it in that corner out of the way because that's where my vintage stuff is being stored at the minute down there in that corner and then that's that off the bed. And then that pile there is from my try-on and stuff that I'm taking on holiday with me. So I need to go through that. I've got a pile for the bin and I've got a pile. Actually, I could put that, that little pile that was for the bin in, in a charity bag, I suppose. Might come in handy for somebody. Uh, that's for vintage. That's got to go up the garage loft. So, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Right, I am going to go and have me a coffee and a fag. And, yeah, then um, I'm not going to bore you with me folding all this up and stuff. But then we'll move into um, perhaps the bedroom and I'll hang all my stuff up and put all that away. That's the next job. But for now, I'm going to go and have me a coffee. So I'll see you in a little while. Right, so I'm back in the bedroom. I have made a little bit of a start because my phone was running low on battery, so I put it on charge and just been pottering about a bit. So, what I've done, I have all the... Let me just show you. Oh, hang on, I'm going to have to tip the whole thing ground. Hang on. Here was a pile of jumpers and dressing gowns and hoodies and stuff like that that was taking up a lot of space. So... Um, I've bagged all them up, they're already in the living room to go up into the loft. Wow, I look an absolute mess. Um, and I've started hanging a few bits and pieces up in there. I've also pulled out a few bits and pieces that I'm going to be taking um, on holiday to go in my suitcase. But I'm going to do that in a separate video um, packing to go on holiday. The light's gone a bit dull now. The sun was shining just. Um, so all I've got to do is hang these dresses up. Uh, and what I've been doing, I've been like putting uh, more than one thing on the hangers because of space, basically. Because I've still got a load of stuff on the bed from my try-on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hang these up. Then I'm going to bring through the stuff from my try-on, separate what needs hanging up and what I'm taking on holiday, and then I'm going to call it quits for that video for this video there. I am going to carry on doing stuff today and filming it, but it'll just so I'll, I'll look the same probably. It'll just be um, another video on another day because I've still got to sort through all my makeup and my skincare, which I want to do before I go on holiday. So you know. 
I can get like a little pouch because uh, I've got lots of little miniatures and stuff that I can get a little pouch ready for my skincare to take on holiday because I'm not taking like big bottles of toner and moisturiser and stuff like that. I'm only going for a week so I only need little miniatures that'll last me the week. So yeah, that'll be in another video as well. But hopefully, um, it'll probably be three videos. So there'll be this one, uh, the sorting out my makeup and skincare and my packing video and then the next videos after that will be my um me vlogging in turkey on holiday i'm really looking forward to doing that i hope you'll join me for that video uh yeah showing you all the beautiful sights in turkey and the hotel tour and all the rest of it so yeah right i'm gonna cl crack on with hanging these up and stop rabbiting on. I think I might need to just adjust the blinds a little bit to let a bit more light in, hang on. Because the sun has disappeared. Is that lighting okay? Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? So I'm just gonna hang uh, all these dresses and skirts up and I'm trying to hang stuff um, more than one thing on each anger just to save space so like the strappy dresses and stuff can go on one anger this dress i absolutely love it it's linen this is the one that i was telling you about with um, some tan sandals and a straw bag and it's linen by f and f and i got that in the sale for four pound I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourites. Right, that's everything hung up. And what I've done, I've kept out a couple of cardigans, um, you know, just for those days where it's not very warm. I mean, the sun has been blaring today, but it's still not warm. So I've just kept out a couple of cardigans, so I just need to hang those up. I thought it was a good idea just to keep a couple of nice ones out. I mean, you know, with a pair of jeans and a vest, that'll look really nice. And I absolutely adore this one. This is one of my favourite, favourite cardigans. That looks nice on its own or, you know, open over something. So yeah, that's everything on cup now. Right. Oh, I'm so happy that I've managed to achieve that today. Um, I've just got a couple of bits and pieces to put away in the drawers and uh, some stuff to just put near my suitcases. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it here. I am obviously, I've been going for, I've been doing this for about four hours now. So I will condense this video right the way down. Um, and if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I've reached my 3K. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much. Honestly. And I've had some lovely, lovely comments on my last video. You know, my bikini haul. Which I really battled with myself whether to do that. Hang on, let me just tilt you up a little bit. I did battle with myself whether to do that... Um, Oops, that bikini video. Uh, purely because it was just something out of my comfort zone. Do you know what I mean? What I gather from all the comments that I have received on that video, uh, you were all glad that I did it as well because, you know, a lot of my subscribers were all around the same age, you know, uh, middle-aged, 50s, you know, I mean, there is like a diverse group of people here, the age range. I mean, they age from 18 to 65, but majority of my subscribers are around my age. And you was all saying, you know, how brave it was of me to do and that it's given you all confidence as well. And I'll tell you what, that it just has made me feel so much better about doing that video. It really, really has. And, you know, we're all different shapes and sizes. And 
you want to see what these things look like on, don't you? You know, even if it was out of my comfort zone. And I am so happy that I did it. And thank you all so much for your lovely, lovely comments. So, buy the bikini, buy the beachwear, buy the short skirts and just rock it and love the skin that you're in because yeah that is what confidence is all about confidence is not thinking that you're better than anybody else confidence is empowering other women to um love themselves as well do you know what i mean love yourself and just rock what you've got please please do it and um, yeah, you'll feel absolutely fabulous. I haven't always been a confident person. I really haven't. Um, Les, Les, give me my confidence. The My previous relationship that I was in, um, yeah, there was no confidence building in, in that relationship. It was quite toxic at times. It wasn't always toxic, but at times it was very toxic because there was no encouragement for growth or moving forward or empowering yourself or doing better. But with Les, he's all about that. Do you know what I mean? Even down to like things like driving the machinery in the garden, he'll say, you know, go and get the dumper. And I'm like, I don't want to. And he's like, go and get the dumper. You can do it. You know how to drive it. Just go and get the dumper. I'm doing this. You do that. And he's all about, you can do it. Do you know what I mean? Just because you're a woman, it doesn't mean you can't jump in the dumper or the digger or on the lawnmower and go and do those kind of jobs. When it, it is something that I do enjoy doing because I would never have thought of doing it before. Even down to learning to drive, Les pushed me to do that. Um, because when we moved to Wales, you know, buzzies are very few and far between here. You probably see three a day. So there was no getting on a bus, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> every five minutes like there is in the Midlands. I needed to learn to drive. And he was like, you've got to do it. You've got to do it for your own independence. Just do it. And I did. So I encourage you all to just do anything that you want to do. It's all within your reach. And yeah, that was a... Wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. But that was a bit of, uh, yeah, confidence building there. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, rock it. Do exactly you just do you and do exactly as you please right i'm going to stop i'm just going to stop because i could just carry on and on and on um yeah i am going to carry on doing the leslie's outside um doing the whackering and stuff and messing about in his garage so i am going to carry on doing some bits and pieces and i am going to film it like i said but it'll be in the next video so i'm going to leave this one here and yeah i have just gone rabbiting on for far too long i will see you all in my next video i love you guys loads Thank you for spending some time with me and I will see you very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye.